Hello everybody, Nell here from the Four Corners and welcome to a video talking about a very sneaky little thing that LEGO did with both of their 2021 Waves of Ninjago sets, so that would be the Island and Seabound. So what happened in Seabound is at some point the ninja ended up with the fake amulet, the fake storm amulet, and who knows how the fake storm amulet actually got replaced with the ones the keepers were protecting. The keepers had one job, it was to keep the amulet, and they weren't really able to do that, and I kind of feel like Clutch Powers accidentally wished for the Storm Amulet since he wanted that special award and everything. That's completely up to your theories in the comment section. The main point here is that the ninja had the fake amulet and right now it's in Chintaro. I hope someone called Vanya and told her that they don't have to put maximum security on this paper mache version of this priceless artifact. But what happened was in the sets as well, the season 14 sets we got a amulet. Of course we're gonna get a amulet piece, it's one of the main collectibles. But the crazy part about this is that might be the fake one. So this is what I mean, it sounds a little crazy, but we're getting the Temple of the Infinite Ocean set, right? That comes out August 1st in North America, and lucky for the rest of the world, they're getting it pretty soon on June 1st. That set comes with a storm amulet. And little did we know that that storm amulet is actually a different design from the ones we got in the season 14 sets. So I don't really have any on hand images of these right now, maybe we'll do one after the sets come out in America later. But I'm gonna pull a image from my friend Overlord1469 server. I just want to shout his server out really quick, I get all my information from over there. Most of my videos, that information comes from his server, and it's really a great server. So if you want to join a cool Ninjago Discord server, I will put the invite link in the description. But anyways, this is a image of the Storm Amulet you get in the Temple of the Infinite Ocean set. So there is a lot of glitter here, and now this is a image of what the amulet looks like from the island sets. So yeah, there's, there's a difference, there's no glitter on the island ones. And whether which one is the real one, that's completely up to you. I kind of count the one with the glitter as the real one since that looks like it has more lightning. And the other amulet, the blue one, that also has glitter, meaning the real ones seem to have glitter and then the fake one just doesn't have any effects. So I think that's pretty smart. Honestly, if you can't really get the Temple of the Infinite Ocean set, it doesn't really matter. It's fine, you can pretend the ones they gave you in the island sets are the real ones. And who knows, maybe in the back, LEGO was actually just updating the Storm Amulet designs. Maybe both are real, but it's crazy that we actually got two different designs and LEGO was kind of fooling us under our noses the whole time. I really like this, it's a very interesting little thing and I can't wait to have both in hand and really see the difference over there. However, that is all for this video looking at how there's actually a fake amulet. I can't believe LEGO actually did that. Comment down below what you think about this crazy amulet madness and are you happy that the possible real amulet only comes in the Temple of the Infinite Ocean set which I think a lot of people were getting anyway. Thank you for watching a Seabound Thoughts and Opinions video and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!